57 pounds. So I fit it. What's wrong with me? Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing really, really well with everything that's going on. I can't believe that it is June already. We are like halfway through the year. It is crazy to think that everything that's gone on has just zooted past so fast. But today's video on a happier note is gonna be an empties video with a declutter. I'm doing a two for one today. And that is because whilst I'm, I was ready to record this video, I had to change a fuse in my camera battery pack charger and whilst that was charging um i thought hey i know what's dirty my eyeliner and eye base drawer so i, I went through everything i've given it a little tidy through and we'll get to that near the end so if you want to see the declutter you can kind of skip nearer to the end but for now we're going to do our empties and for me i actually thought i, I didn't have a lot but when i'm looking at what i've got here i I do. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll go through everything I've, I've got in front. So I have mainly skincare with a couple of bits of makeup. So let's go through everything. So the first thing I can see in front of me is the Lacura Healthy Glow Exfoliating Toner 5% Glycolic Acid with Aloe Vera and Ginseng. And that's it there. And this is like supposed to be a bit of a dupe for the Pixi Glow Tonic. And I think this is 3 dollars Yeah, it is 3 dollars because I've actually got a bottle somewhere over there. So finish it off. Really, really love this. And obviously I've got one in the back there ready to go once I finish my ordinary one. Next up is Bleach London's Pearlescent Shampoo, which um, my friend Chloe gave me, which is really lovely. And it's a toning shampoo with an iridescent hue. And it is a lovely kind of fresh smell, rich purple toning shampoo. If you want a nice toning shampoo, um, this one's really, really lovely. My only downside with this is that, and it's, it's nothing to do with the actual product, is that it's in a black plastic bottle, which means I can't recycle this because my local recycling facility, it can't recycle black plastics. So I really wish Bleach would maybe do something with changing it. And I don't know if they have black plastic so they protect the, the perp, like the dyes, but it does mean that I can't recycle it, even though it has like the recycled logo on there, which is a shame. Then I've got the Avon Senses 2-in-1 for Men Cactus Ridge Prickly Pear Cactus and Patchouli Hair and Body Wash. I got about four goals out of this. Alex blasted through this and it is a super masculine scent. Very fresh, very aftershavey. I'm obsessed with anything patchouli, so give me anything patchouli. But as soon as I've seen that, I was like, yes, please. Don't really know what prickly pear smells like, but it smells kind of like a sexy man. So if you like that kind of earthy fresh patchouli kind of smell. Get one of those a go. And then speaking of Avon, I have two other things. I have the Avon Senses uh, Garden of Eden Exotic Fruits and Basil Hand Wash. And whenever I think of this, I always think of that song, you know, in The Simpsons, in the Garden of Eden with the, with the old lady. So I always think of that when I use it. And it's got a light kind of fruity floral smell, really, really nice. And it is 250 mils in size. And then this looks really crusty and I did try to wipe it. But for some reason, with these roll-ons, they do kind of like look a little bit. And this is the Avon On Duty 48 Hour Protection Men's Active Wear Roll-On. I've been using Avon roll-ons for about 10 years, and I've only deviated twice. Um, one was for a Dove fruity roll-on, and then I've got one now in my in my bathroom, which is a Sure roll-on and no roll-ons compared to the Avon ones. The sure one that I've got is like an extra dry formula, which just must mean more alcohol because if you shave your armpits, and even if you've got a brand new razor and you are super careful and you're using shaving foam and not like just random soap, it burns so much. So I really love these because they're kind of creamy and milky and that's probably why it's still got some crispy bits on there but they're really good and normally I get them on offer when they're 99 pence so you can't go wrong with that at all. Then we've got um, something from Primark. We've got the um, PS Vitamin C Glow Revealing Pads and these were £2. I think Primark were jumping on the Vitamin C bandwagon there and you get Oh my god, cool, that's good. You get 80 pads, so 
they were nice for two pounds you get like i say a lot i did have to like every now and then turn it upside down so that the liquid would kind of run through because the top layer did kind of dry out even though it was sealed so i would feel like if they were going to keep doing these just add a little bit more liquid in so that the pads stay wet next up we have some pore strips and we have the face fax pore strips which i did a video on and also the iroa pore strips which i did a video on i'll leave those in the description box below if you want to see which one was better i've got in front of me some skin some skincare from a brand that i've never tried before and this is drunk elephant so when i went to america last year um and i went to sephora and they did it i think they do it quite a lot but if you sign up or if you spend a certain amount of money they give you some freebies so they had like a little cat von d set or they had the drunk elephant now normally i would pick the makeup but or the cat von d set i'd already had so i was like i want to give this a go everyone goes on and on about drunk elephant so the, the first one i've got here is the best number nine jelly cleanser and this is cantaloupe and glycerin and i'm going to burp and this is supposed to purify and dissolve and it's just a little gel cleanser it has um a little twist at the bottom and you squeeze it out which you wouldn't think was an issue but it's really annoying because when you squirt it out and then you close it you then have to wipe it away like if there's any residue left over you have to kind of clean it and it's a little bit annoying it didn't it doesn't have a smell and it didn't really seem to do much other than dry my skin out but I, I, to be honest i think a lot of gel cleansers do dry my skin out because i am a little bit more on the drier side but i thought hey give it a go and it actually lasted a really long time this little tube so if you want something that's long lasting give that a go i don't actually know how much this would be should i check so to get a full size version of this it is 27 pounds for 150 mils and I got 30 mils here and then I've got the proteiny polypeptide cream doesn't again I don't doesn't really have a smell I don't know if the if the brand is supposed to be fragrance free like, so it's supposed to be a, a breakthrough protein moisturizer combines an unprecedented array and concentration of signal peptides growth factors and supportive amino acids and pick me water lily for visible and immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone texture and firmness suggested use apply morning and night to clean dry skin didn't see a difference i mean i know it's only a small little tin tin tub for 15 mils but a full size one would set you back 57 pounds it's pretty pretty up there for 50 mils and I, this is a 15 mil tub so obviously it got a, and to be fair it did spread far but it, it soaked in quickly but it didn't feel heavy didn't feel rich and feel like it was going to really like moisturize my skin so as i say if you wanted a lighter moisturizer that soaked in quickly give this one a go but i didn't really see any benefits to my skin i don't know if anybody can tell me or recommend any good drunk elephant products for me to try i have kind of like dehydrated dry skin so next up is the clinique for men uh, maximum hydrate activated water gel concentrate so this is like a moisturizer it comes with like little bursting beads inside of it i don't know if i can get any out now normally a, a gel moisturizer doesn't really do anything for me but as this was one of alex's and i just kept like don't know why i'm sniffing it because it has no smell alex didn't know i pinched it so i've pinched it sorry alex but the funny thing is whenever we go to the clinic counter because alex really likes clinic products the ladies on the counter i think he must like charm them or something the ladies on the counter love alex he'll just buy his usual stuff and like oh do you want some samples and he's like oh yeah please and they like throw samples left right honestly he came back with one of his friends and he just emptied out all this free stuff that they gave him and he didn't buy anything like unusual to what he normally buys he's just got away with the older clinic ladies they love him but yeah this is nice i don't know why it's for men what makes it any difference because i feel like all all skin type all human skin is the same but if you are wanting a gel based moisturizer that is a little bit more on the moisturizing side you might like this one there's no spf in it it reminded me do you remember obviously they've probably had this for a very long time but for solly I think that's how you for Sally, for Sally, came out with like a gel moisturizer with like blue beads in it. I'll put a 
picture up here and it kind of reminded me of that when I when I I'm not that I used it but that's what it reminded me of um but yeah I, I like that I wouldn't say no if another sample came along my way another thing I've got here is the um Garni Ultimate Ultra Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food Banana and Shea. I think I may have done a kind of an empties with this before, but oh my god. It smells so good. It smells amazing. I've actually got the shampoo and conditioner on the go in the bathroom. This is amazing. It's $6.98 full price, but I always get it when it's on offer uh, for like half price. And it's really, really lovely. It's three in one, so you can use it as a conditioner, hair mask, or a leave-in treatment. I just use it as a as a hair mask all the time. And it makes your hair smell amazing. If you are wanting like a cheaper, more affordable drugstore hair mask, that's quite hefty in size. It's 400 mils, I think, 390 mils. Then give this one a go because I'm, I'm sh sure. I've talked about this before and how much I love it. Thinking of like boots, I have got something that boot sells that you know I love, and that is Soap and Glory. So I fit it. What's wrong with me? Okay, we're just gonna move past that. I've got the Soap and Glory, uh, this butter, be good, and it looks really hacky, this tub. Um, hydrating body butter, it's limited edition, it's from Christmas. Smells sweet, spicy, delicious. I've got the shower gel. I wish that they did a separate body spray of this. I wish they did a separate of everything in this range because this smells amazing. I absolutely love Soap and Glory's body butters. I'm not really a moisturizer person, but the body butters are rich, but they soak in quickly. I'm using an Avon body butter at the moment and it doesn't soak in as quickly, but these are amazing. And as you, as you know, I always talk about Soap and Glory and how much I love them. So if you are looking for a good body butter, that's affordable, Soap and Glory, but oh God, please Soap and Glory, bring, bring that back next year. And the, the, the Soap and Glory Christmas one from a couple of years ago, which was orangey, bring that back as a summery one, please, because that was really, really nice. I'm gonna go straight into Lush. There's a lot of Lush stuff, you know me. I love my Lush, so I'm going to go through everything. First thing I'm going to show you is a nondescript black pot. And in this nondescript black pot was, oh my god, it smells amazing, was the Yognog body conditioner. Just filled up a travel tub, filled with it. But I found it in the back of a cupboard whilst I was tidying out. I've got all my Lush stuff in here, um, all like my bath bombs and stuff, and I found this now. I absolutely love Yognog. And speaking of Yognog, here is the matching shower gel. I finished, I've got a 100ml bottle left of it and it is literally like cinder toffee caramel. And when they announced that they were gonna bring this out last year for Christmas, everyone I knew lost their mind about it because it smells so good. And I regret not buying the kilo bottle. I was gonna buy it and I didn't. This year I'm absolutely buying a kilo bottle of Snow Fairy because I, did, I have no snow very left. Please bring this back Lush for next Christmas. God, it's beautiful. The body conditioner is literally like butter for your skin with a bit of spark in it. It is so rich and so hydrating. So if you do get really, really chapped winter skin, or if you have very dry skin, it is literally like slathering on like caramel scented delicious body butter. Oh, it's amazing. So that body conditioner and the shower gel just there. Then I finished off the Lush Kitchen version of the avocado wash. So they brought out last year for Valent, well, like the spring range, American cream and avocado wash. They changed the smell of it from the kitchen. So the kitchen one smells like avocado cool wash. The slightly changed the smell or ingredients of the one that they released for the spring collection. So it, it kind of smelled more fresh and more I can't describe it, it wasn't the same. And I think that's probably why it didn't end up staying on permanently. If they kept it like this, it would have stayed, definitely. But that was a shame because it finished. But it was ugh, smells really good. I love avocado core wash. It is the nicest smell ever. If they could make like a body conditioner or a body scrub in that. Like I'm really into sugar scrubs at the moment. So Lush, I'm saying it right now. Snow Fairy sugar scrub and an avocado core wash uh, sugar scrub. Like, um, in that kind of, in a potted form. In a potted form, like rub, rub, rub. So you can scoop it out. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, if you can make it whipped. Like a whipped sugar scrub in a pot. Amazing. The, another little thing I finished off was a bottle of almond blossom. So my Boss Jill um, 
gave me this bottle of almond blossom in a little gift box with some other little treats. I have to admit snowflake scent, which is the same scent as the almond blossom, was not my favourite scent family at Christmas just gone, it's a new scent. But this shower gel, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed like, because it's a new style shower gel, instead of having an SLS base, it is a sodium cocoa phosphate. Basically, it's a, a lawn agent from coconut oil. Um, so it had a different consistency. It was very thick, so you didn't use as much. So it spread further and it felt richer and the smell smelled nicer in the gel than the, than, the, than the body lotion. I don't know, I know it's the same smell, but I really, long story short, I really liked this. I really liked it. <coughs> Would get again. And that is part of the spring range. Next up, I have the Volcano Foot Mask. But with this one, it's very spicy smelling like super like blow your socks off got another pot in the in the bathroom and i definitely think that feet are something that gets overlooked and if you work in retail if you work if you're on your feet all the time you feel it when you come home like sometimes after a shift my ankles and my feet are throbbing like and i wear sketches and i know it's a running joke with people i work with about me wearing sketches but i need support for my ankles and i need comfort especially on a nine hour shift so putting on something like volcano is lovely because it does give your feet a little scrub but it warms up you don't have to but you can wrap your feet up in cling film or an old plastic carrier bag if you want to reuse it and that really activates the heat so you are kind of getting that thermal thing to get the circulation pumping around and it's lovely and when you go to wash it off it's great treat your feet get one of these okay and then last but not least from lush it's not because I've got two other things that I wanted to mention, but I don't physically have them. Is Hishuan Wenhui, one of my favourite hair masks from Lush. It's so protein rich, it's really good for dry, damaged hair. It does have a savoury smell. It is a smell to get used to. It's spicy because it's got a little bit of um, your cinnamon in there, but it's got loads of bananas and avocado. And you also have, um, now, because we don't have eggs in it, we have our aquafaba. So it really does make your hair feel good. So if you are stuck for something, it is a little bit more bougie, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's really really good and I've been using it for over 10 years and I recommend it when I used to really over bleach my hair and I love it so give it a go and then the other things that I've been using up this month that I've not got on camera with me and I'm gonna have a quick sip we've got some exclusive bubble bars so we have I'm gonna have pink crayon which is a floral smell now I think in my last video the lush haul one which I'll link down below I said it was pink pedigree scented but I actually think it's marigold bath bomb scent when I was running it under the tap I was like this smells like this it's not it's not pedigree it is and sure now it is marigold bath bomb scent and i got three full adult baths out of one crayon and you can once it's wet draw on the side of your bath it doesn't stay in your bath because i was drawing like little hearts and stuff on it so if you are wanting like a cute little affordable bubble bar for for yourself or for your kids give that one a go it's really really lovely i also had a mermaid's tail which is super lemongrass and um, super lemony it's got myrtle lemon in it and again it's kind of like that humming and hawing between like people I know because I'm sure it was said it was supposed to be baked Alaska soap scented but I get to your buttercup but then both have lemon myrtle in so until Christmas comes to see if they're going to launch baked Alaska and if they still have the bu the bubble bars the bubble bits the bubble bars around at Christmas time I want to smell the two together but it has a little bath oil on the tail so extra pamper I finished a Buffy, a small Buffy body butter scrub. If you are wanting a more moisturising body scrub, this is like an OG one and it has ground rice, almonds and a tricky beans. And then you have your cocoa butter and shea butter. So it is a scrub and a moisturiser in one. And it is so lovely and I've used the last of it today. And that is my alternative to Scrubby. Scrubby is my OG. Scrub Scrubby will never be replaced in my heart. Scrubby is the best body scrub that Lush do for now if they can do another scrub like those whipped sugar scrubs i was telling about that they should totally do please do them and it smells kind of a little bit like white chocolate it's really really lovely bar bath bombs i've had quite a few i don't know if you like me talking about the bath bombs but i'll put some in that i've had i've used flight again which i really really enjoy i've used the dinosaur 
bombshell has um, two sides it's purple and yellow it smells like space girl so my favorite smell ever and inside is a little green dinosaur which you can make it which is bubble bar which you can crumble and get back so you could get three baths out of that speaking of space girl i had the new the purple stargazer bubble bar as well which is really really lovely i think that's it from blush actually and then on to makeup we have Two makeup items. We have the Go Big or Go Home Try Me Mascara from KVD Vegan Beauty. Really love the mascara when it's in this format and not in the full size format. And then I've got some Geo Lash. <laughs> this technically still has some stuff in it but it's really old and it doesn't smell very nice. And I've ordered some stuff because um, Superdrug were doing a buy one get one free on cosmetics. So whilst I was, there, I was like, oh my god, lash glue, because I keep forgetting to buy it, I've replaced this now, which is, thank god. And then the last thing from just the empties, and then I'll go on to the declutter, uh, is the Kat Von D Sinner perfume. And this was a little sample that my friend gave me. I'm just like squirt in the end. And I do have the Saint version that my other friend got me my friends know me so well as a birthday present so this is the saint and that is the sinner so this one's a bit more sultry a bit darker a bit a bit more depth to it where this one's a bit more light and summery if i had to choose my favorite i i would say that the sinner is mine just because it is a more stronger smell but what i do love about the kat von d fragrances and i know that they are discontinuing which is a shame is that the misters are just amazing really oh, it's a little it's a lovely perfume in fact mm, it is a really, really lovely perfume but i do prefer a more heady heavier fragrance oh my god i've sprayed too much okay and actually i said there was last thing but i forgot this one which is the final thing from the empties of me and that is the o'keefe's working hands hand cream for extremely dry and cracked hands for a person like me that always has their hands in water as part of their job and especially during current situation where we constantly have to wash our hands this offers a i'm gonna show you the inside this offers a bit of relief for your hands i mean it literally says guaranteed relief and they don't lie it heals any keens and cracks so if you are a plasterer if you are a mechanic if you are um, a chef anything like that where you do have to kind of you work with your hands and you get cracked hands. This is amazing. It isn't moisturizing, it's healing. That's what I'm going to describe it, because you only need a tiny little bit and you rub it in, it soaks in really quickly. If you are looking for something to help with keens, with, with, with cracked hands and skin, give this a go. It does say if you have deep cracks and cuts, it can sting, and I have felt that stinging before. It's not the most unpleasant feeling, um, but just bear that in mind that if you do use it and you do have very cracked hands, you might feel a little bit of discomfort from stinging. But as my mum always says, if it's stinging, you know it's working. That is it. That is everything from the maze empties. I'm going to move on to the declutter. I feel like this should technically be a separate video, but I don't feel like it's a big enough video to do on its own. So I'm just going to show you everything here. So everything I've got here is either really, really, really old or I hate it and I'm not gonna use it. The 90% of it is that it's really, really old, but I'm gonna go through everything. So the first things I'm gonna show you is, it's, this is from my, the, the drawer that's for your eyes that isn't eyeshadows. And by eyeshadows, I mean like general eyeshadows. I'm gonna tell you the ages of things and I don't want no judgment, okay? Because some of this stuff is old as fudge, okay? So the first things I'm gonna show you right now, and these are the, NYX Vivid Eyeliners. I also have a red one, but the red one I think I bought kind of not so long ago, so I'm holding on to it. A lot, these have dried out, and I've had these for about four years. I think these two were the first ones, and then these ones. I am not the first person this is, and I will not be the last one. These suck because they crack. You get the most perfect wing because the brushes, I'm gonna take one out. The brush tip is great, it's fine. I don't know if you can see, yeah you can. It's small enough to get a really good crisp line. And I've got, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you the one, I've got a white one here. 
but they crack instantly and when I bought my white one, oh you can't see, but like loads of the bristles were already broken on it so then you couldn't even get a good line on it. So disappointing, especially because it was literally when NYX had came to the UK and had come like and had actually come up to Newcastle, I bought loads of these because they were an affordable eyeliner and it is such a shame because they should have been amazing but the colours as well weren't kind of what I thought they were going to be so I wouldn't buy these again I think they don't make them anymore anyway I've got two of the Stargazer neon liners I love the Stargazer neon liquid eyeliners these ones I've just got here because they've dried out they've got again a nice thin applicator they are buildable they don't crack they're really really good and they're affordable too. Stargazer is a really affordable brand so and it's UK based. I think they're from Croydon. Then we've got some mascaras and these are topper mascaras and they're both from CRT London and I got these from TK Maxx or in America it would be TJ Maxx and these are the topper like brush brushes. So this one the blue one and then you've got the blue and the red one there. They call the red one a lash chalk and then the colour blue one lash light the blue one's really good like the the blue really stood out the red one didn't and actually the brush itself you didn't think it would give you any lift even though you're supposed to put it on top of your your already your mascara and eyes but they actually did quite well for um getting onto the eye i bought these in america last year and they are honestly the most hideous things ever and I love, and I, I feel like I'm totally like slamming into NYX. I love NYX so much. Um, I love a lot of their products, but they just don't like, they're supposed to be for your eyebrows. And I picked these ones specifically when I was in America because I thought they'd be great. This one broke off, like this one. Will it go back on? Oh, it does go back on. The lids, these lid bits come off really, really easily. I got pink and blue because I thought, oh, that's cute. I'll be able to do ombre. But they're very, like, they look quite opaque on here but they're actually quite sheer and the the product itself is quite thick and when you go to like brush out or spread out it just it looks weird it just doesn't look right and i'm so disappointed but they did have like loads of like natural colored ones and these things here what right so you've got a brush and you've got a comb i don't think anybody's eyebrows are long enough for a comb Unless you're supposed to be putting it through your hair. The brush is really stiff. In fact, I'm going to see if I can show you on here. If I go to... Use it on here. It's really stiff and it just like... Just wipes it away. It's not very good. And I'm, these were about... I think about $10, $12 each. Not the best. So in the bin, they go. Speaking of America... Got some shame here. This is a... Oopsie Proof Liner Eraser from Hard Candy and I got this in Walmart in 2015 and it is so if you do a mistake with your eyeliner you can then just go along and it'll wipe away and for the first few goals it does work really well however the nib gets covered in your eyeliner and then just leaves like Oh, wow, wow, wow. like it leaves like a black residue where you go so it's it's not great I just do um, a little tip that my friend Jessie does because she works in the Kat Von D counter which is just put a little bit of primer on the back of my hand and use the primer just to erase any mistakes much better much easier to use then I've got this Kiko Milano cream stick my friend gave me this before she moved to America which was what like five ish years ago really really lovely really lovely creamy stick but really shouldn't be using it because it's so old and it's you know then speaking of um, my friend who moved to america she gave me this as well which is the urban decay gold 24 7 liner stunning but it's so old that it's got stuck and now it has no thingy in there to protect it so it's just all going to pour out and it's super old and i actually bought a nyx one by mistake it literally is the same it is the same but a fraction of the price i've got two products from avon this is so old i mean i don't know if you can see the minging bubbles it is a silver shadow but it's and it was never open i just opened it today but it's like super 
like there's loads of liquid in there when it comes out it's like super dry then we've got the avon mark whip into shape tattoo eyeliner and this was supposed to be a little bit of the dupe for kat von d tattoo liner except the eyeliner is just a felt tip but it's very oh my god it's if you do it so when i was and i was bleeding if you just lightly do it it doesn't not much comes out like a kat von d tattoo liner it comes out really well. It Essentially, the ink doesn't flow all the way to the nib is what I'm trying to say. God's sake, Sarah. Then on the other side, you've got an eraser. It does erase, but then it also creates like a smudge. And a bit like the other eyeliner remover, once you get it covered in eyeliner, it just, it leaves that mark. And then the other thing I've got here is a mark, big and magical mascara in electric it's a blue mascara but it has little bits of glitter in it and it was really nice but it's super old now and that was part of their festival range last year they also came out with some stamper pens which were amazing i think they collab with some bloggers so they're kind of getting more kind of influencers and stuff like that involved which is great and i do think avon should keep doing that because it it did have like a younger feel to it i've got this really old wow that looks crusty body glitter that i got from boots in the sale at christmas time a few years ago and it doesn't even put on nicely it doesn't have a smell and i'm just getting rid of it then my friend karen gave me some glitter gel it's just dried up and this is snazz real glitter gel which is a shame because it was really nice but it's just dried up a old lush emotional brilliance eyeliner this is in fantasy they've reformulated them you may have seen in my lush haul video that i'm linked down below i did buy one of the new versions they do sell a gold version now in the new style and it's called venus they are amazing it is a lovely gold eyeliner and i really recommend it so if you are looking for a cruelty free gold eyeliner go for it I've got three eyeliners from Inglot and I got these four years ago in Manchester at like a convention with college. Pretty much straight away with the yellow one, it cracked and I hardly used it. Um, and then the white one started to crack. The blue one hasn't, which is unusual, but it is dry. Oh my God, it is so dry. I did not get on with this formula at all. Um, I don't know if it's something that I was doing wrong. I don't know. Like people seem to really rate the eyeliners, but they're very waxy and like I find them really hard to work with. Then we've got something from Stila. I got this in London. Oh my god! I've not had. The, I've only used it once. Holy crap! I got this like a year and a bit ago when I went to london to see some of the new naked makeup that lush was launching and i was like i'm gonna treat myself to some makeup and they had the boots on carnaby street had loads of sealer stuff for sale it's actually shrunk i don't know if you can see that it's shrunk inside but it's supposed to be a smudge pot I thought i mean i only got it for like two or three pounds which is incredible for stealer what I thought this would be is, I mean, it's a smudge pot waterproof gel eyeliner. So what I thought you do is, oh, I could do this for smoky eyes. You put it on and it dries almost instantly, so you can't do anything with it. It's just naff. It's just not very good. Then I've got two things from Illamasqua, and I love Illamasqua. And I've got two things. I've got the um, liquid metal kind of cream pigment affair. Well, liquid metal, but essentially in, in the shade Solstice. Solstice. And it's like a gold oh my god it's so nice but it's now it's very old and it's very sweaty and i got that from tk maxx tk maxx does end up getting a lot of illamasqua stuff not so much recently but it does get a lot of it so if you are wanting illamasqua stuff check it out and i do have a lot of mac stuff in there as well and the other thing i've got is the illamasqua eyeliner cake in zeal i've never used this and it was broken when i got it but that was i think i got it in the discount tk maxx i just i forgot that i had it so it's going in the bin and then the last thing I've got, no, no, the second last thing I've got is from Krylin and it is a cake eyeliner again in black. Used it a few times. It's just super old. I had it for when I was at college and I just don't use it. I've got other eyeliners that I love. Final thing, bloody hell this is long, is a Studio Eye Gloss. And this is from the, the Brute Candy collab that can tell from MAC. Um, that can tell you how old it is. And I got this in, I remember I didn't manage to get it when it came out in stores. But I actually got it in the outlet centre in York. Very sticky. I know it's a gloss. But oh my god. So 
I just don't think I, I like the textures of the the eye glosses but that's it there and it what drew me to it was it has like this pink shift which like iridescent shift in it which also has like blue sparkles it's very pretty but it's very sticky and I just don't use it so I'm going to empty that out and that could be one of the containers that I take back to MAC to get a free lipstick that is everything I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you made it this far please give a little thumbs up I am, am so close to 300 subscribers so if you are watching please subscribe down below I really would appreciate that to get me to 300 subscribers and maybe by the time this is launched I might even have some more but yes if you want to you can also follow me on Instagram as Sarah Jameson MUA and at TikTok Sarah Squids MUA but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye